Cajun softball star Brooke Ellistad has seen a ton of success with the team. She earned Sunbelt Newcomer of the Year and is second on the team in RBI. But there is a motivating factor for her that's much bigger than herself. It comes from a loved one, which is why she wears the number 17. She was so special, and I'm so sad she can't be here. And I'm just... I'm so glad we get to do things out of memory for her. Kate Marty dreamt of being a great softball player. Her older sister Grace and Brooke Ellistad played travel ball together in Wisconsin, and Kate's desire for greatness drew her closer to the UL star. You have to work hard to get there, and, and that's what she did, is always working hard, um, always positive, um, always smiling. It, she, she was just like a breath of fresh air. But on June 6, 2022, Kate passed away in a UTV accident. She was only 14. I was just in a horrible spot in life at that point. And to know that someone who loved life so much got to lose it, it just kind of sucks because I wanted to be there for them so bad. Ellistad lived in Minnesota at the time, dominating the diamond with the University of St. Thomas. That one's back at the wall. But after two seasons, she entered the transfer portal. The Wisconsin native needed a new place to call home and the Marty family held a relationship that became the perfect pitch to Ellistad. That's my baby. They bonded with Cajuns head coach Jerry Glasgow, who also lost his daughter, Jerry Ann, in 2019. I just can't be more thrilled that Brooke's a Cajun and the chance that we've gotten to see more of the raging Cajuns. You know, on a Saturday when the Cajuns are playing, it just helps you get out of bed. On her recruiting visit at UL, Ellistad took photos in a Cajuns uniform, and the jersey she picked showcased a divine message. Kate got buried in her jersey that was red, black, and white. And the jersey that I picked was black, red, and white. And so it just... When I got here, it was just like everything fell right into place. And while Ellistad was rounding the bases right here at Lamson Park, there would be someone even closer to her that had to step up to the plate and face their own personal battles. In May of 2023, Ellistad's mother, April, received a breast cancer diagnosis. Ellistad showed up for her mom while helping lead the Cajuns to hosting an NCAA regional. I feel like we just being there for her was really helpful and just being with her through the chemo treatments and sending her texts. April is now a cancer survivor and her daughter Brooke is a star in Cajun country. All while she's been donning the number of her favorite angel in the outfield. Kate Marty is, is my why. Like I, I play for all of the people, not only just Kate Marty, but all the people who don't get to play. We were watching Brooke play one time and we looked down and we were on seat number 17. It was just another sign that Kate's there. In Lafayette, Jamarcus Fitzpatrick, KETC TV3.